welcome to the new episode of Flying Mom. Today we are going to be talking about some tips which will help you in achieving the mental fitness. This is the video number one of the mental fitness series. Physical fitness is just half the game. But what about your overall happiness? What about your overall peace levels in life? The mental fitness series will help you in achieving the mental fitness in your life. But today we are going to be talking about the five tips which will help in achieving the mental fitness. Tip number one is constantly moving your body. Your body is meant to do a certain amount of exercise to move forward. If you are not going to make your body move, it's not going to stay at the same place. It's going to move backward. Tip number two is meditation. People don't give much importance to meditation. Just like exercising works your body, meditation works your mind. These are the two important things you can do for yourself as a human being. The third thing we are going to be talking about is the perception. There are two kinds of perception. One is the self-perception and the other is the how people perceive you. The self-perception is the most important thing you can carry with yourself into any room. Self-perception is how you look at yourself. If you look at yourself as a loser, people are going to look at you as a loser. But if you look at yourself as a winner, people will look at you as a winner. But the other thing is how people look at you. And unfortunately, in the superficial world that we live in, it boils down to external appearance, how you dress up, how you carry yourself, how you communicate and your manners. Work on these two factors and it's going to change your world in terms of happiness. The fourth thing is priming yourself. It's preparing yourself for a difficult situation or a difficult day in your life. This is where people go wrong. They go on in the mentality of being a victim instead of being in a mentality of a winner. Go on in the mentality of a conqueror. Take a 10 minutes at the beginning of your day. Exercise, meditate or just spend time with yourself and tell yourself you are capable of conquering that particular situation. Take every day as a mission that you are going to accomplish. The final point is talk to people. Surround yourself with the people who will pick you up when you fall. It's very important to talk to someone about your worries so that the worries don't plague your mind. It will just ease off your worries. Never let the opinions of others affect you, especially if someone is telling you that you can't do something. They are actually putting themselves in your situation or place and thinking, hey man, I can't do this. So the fact is they can't do it, not you. The second thing you need to understand is people are negative due to two reasons. They are themselves going through some negativity in their own life and that excess negativity is coming out on you. And the second thing is they are negative people in general. They think worst about the other human beings and the situations in general. So remember one thing, the, you are the average of five people you hang around with. So choose wisely. The last thing I want you to take away is every morning you get up, the first thing in your mouth should be thank you. Not to the God, not to the universe, but the life you have been given. You are much more blessed and luckier than the credit you give it to yourself. Any negativity is happening in your life is making you become the person you want to become in your life. Physical fitness and appreciate even your struggles.